Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution here, and I'm here with a video tutorial on how to root to your Droid 3. So, for those of you who've been like stalking the XDA developer forums, they've been hard at work trying to reach root, and finally they have. So it's been out for, I think, about a week or so, or a couple of weeks, and that's great. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get your Droid 3 rooted, and alright. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your web browser, and we're going to have to download a few files. So you can either go to www.psuza, Suza with a Z, 4.com slash droid3, or you can navigate to XDA developers, you can, you know, go to their homepage, and then click on their forums, and you'll get here, then type in droid3 up top over here, I don't know if you can see, droid3, and find your device and then go down below XDA is a really great place to find development for your phone just saying so go to droid android development down there and then find the guide for where is it should say guide um, rooting droid 3 should all oh, right right here guide one click root for droid 3 it was the first one i missed it okay so once you're here you can download the second link over here or if you went to the psusa4.com slash droid 3 then you can download it from their web page okay so we're going to just follow the steps that they provided so the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have one the phone and two a usb cable and that you, it's connected to a computer. Before you do anything, you want to go to the settings of your phone and then scroll down to applications. And I always check unknown sources, but it's not really necessary for this tutorial. Just saying. Because um, if you install later on in this tutorial, when we want to install um, the super user APK, we want to install from unknown sources. So go ahead and have it checked. Then we want to go down to development over here, click on that, and then check USB debugging, it must be on. And then we can go ahead and continue. Another thing you need for this tutorial is Windows drivers for this phone. So phone drivers for Windows. Um, if you don't have it installed, you can go ahead and download it from here. Or sometimes you may already have it installed if you plug it in if you plug your phone to computer and it installs automatically. But if you don't have the drivers, then you're gonna either download the 32-bit or the 64-bit. It depends on your computer. And if you don't know, go ahead and try the 32-bit. And then if it isn't compatible, your computer will tell you and it'll be like, hey, these are only for like 32-bit computers. Like yours is a 64-bit computer. Install the 64-bit one. We'll say it in those exact words, but it's not going to hurt your computer if you try one or the other. For this computer that I'm using, I needed the 64-bit. So once we download the one-click root package, which is the same one that we saw on the XDA developer page over here, we're going to go ahead and open it up. It should be in a window, something like this. And then <clears throat> we're going to double-click on the .exe file. Pete's Motorola root tools.exe and then we can go ahead and root the phone that's pretty much it just click it it's literally one click root and it's going to be searching for your phone which is it's really important why you have it in USB debugging mode so it can find it. And it'll just go through the steps. One step one of three. And it'll just tell you that it's rooting your phone. And all you have to do is wait. Alright, and on your phone well that was loud. Um on the computer it says it's rebooting the phone. And your phone will reboot. So it's really I mean there's not much to guide you here on. But um, it's gonna go through what the program will tell you. This should be what you see when you're gonna root your phone. 
Don't you like love the animation? It's just like this ominous eye that's like I'm a droid for anyways, I'm just passing the time. Alright. Okay. So once it's done rebooting, we can go on to the next step. Which is step two of three and running the exploit. really not much you're gonna be doing right now you're just waiting and now you're gonna reboot it's gonna reboot your phone again just want to give props to Dan Rosenberg who discovered this exploit says in the program so it's great we have root because of you thank you and the script was brought to you by Peter Souza, or P. Souza 4. Alright, your phone is rebooting. Okay. Okay, and now it's running exploit step three of three, which is adding SU busy box and busy box and super user APK. And super user APK gives you the super user permissions, so you can do everything that you would normally not do if you were unrooted. So eventually, if you download like set CPU, you can overclock the phone. You can well once the overclock is available, those are some of the things you can do for with super user or if you have apps that you you restored this phone and you backed up your apps using titanium backup then you would use super user and your root in order to like restore those apps again and yeah so you'll notice on the bottom here I don't know if you can read um, if you can see I know you can read but we have congratulations your phone should now be rooted so when it's done rebooting like right now, it's rooted. Woo so, yeah, it does say in yellow, be careful what you do with this kind of access as you can ruin your phone if you're not careful. Well, duh, you can pretty much ruin your phone doing anything, but that's basically don't do anything stupid. But now your phone is rooted, yay! And we have a rooted phone that looks just like a regular phone. But now you have all the super user permissions, and you could really do anything you want on your phone. Basically, all I wanted to do was restore my apps from my other backup. But at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. It was pretty short, it was pretty quick, it was pretty easy. So if you like what you see, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later on the next video review or tutorial. Thanks for watching.